Hey guys, welcome to Cutesy Drawings. Today I'll be drawing Sundrop from Five Nights at Freddy's. I'll be drawing on my tablet, but you can also follow along on paper, and please remember to like and subscribe. Okay, now let's get started. With this drawing, I'll be erasing some lines, so I'd recommend drawing in a pencil first. Okay, let's start off by drawing the shape of the head with a circle. Next on either side, let's draw circles. Now erase the headline inside. Next, inside each circle, let's draw another circle at the top. Let's draw the eyes next. Next to the cheeks, draw a circular curve. and then thicken these lines up slightly. Next, above the left eye, let's draw the eyebrow. Start from the top corner and draw a curve over to the right. And then add a little curve at the end. Okay, let's draw the mouth next. Start with a curve between the two cheeks and then another curve right under it. Now draw another set of curves underneath this one. Now inside the mouth, let's draw another curve across. And now draw vertical lines for the teeth. Next, at the top of the head, let's draw two diagonal lines. And then angle it back down again. And now bring it over to the right eye and back down for the nose. And now at the end of the nose, let's do a swirl up like this. Next, let's add one more curve in the bottom right of the face. And lastly, let's add some detailed dots. Let's start with three on the top of the head. Two on the nose. And then three more in the bottom left. Okay, now let's add some triangles around the head for the rays of the sun. Start with a V-shape at the very top of the head. Now continue the same triangle shapes around the head like this. And that's it for the head, now let's draw the body. Let's start with the neck with two curves under the head. And then a small curve underneath. Next, let's draw his collar. Start with two diagonal lines down. And then two more next to it. Now connect the bottom with V-shapes. Now let's draw three more of these shapes on either side. And 
And lastly, let's add a border along the bottom. Next, let's draw the sides of his chest with two curves down. And then a curve across the bottom. Now inside, let's draw two small circles down the center. Next, let's draw the stomach. Step in from the sides and draw two lines down. And then a curve across the bottom. Next, draw the belt with a curve across. And then draw a detailed hook line inside for the fold of the fabric. Let's draw the arms next, starting with the left side. From the left side, draw two curves down. And then a curve at the end. Now draw a similar rectangle shape up. Let's draw the hand next. Start with a bent line on the left. And now let's draw the thumb on the right. And now a line up on the top. Next, let's draw four fingers across. And now let's draw two curves within each finger. Next, let's draw the ribbon and the bell hanging from the wrist. Start with a curve at the wrist. And now draw a circle next to it on the left. Now inside the bell, draw a little dot and then a line down. Now let's draw two strands of ribbon hanging downwards. And that's it for the left arm and hand. Now let's draw the right side. Let's start by drawing the rounded rectangle shape up on the right. And then one more angled slightly more upwards. Next, we want the arm to look like it's behind the head, so let's erase the arm lines inside the points of the sun. Okay, let's draw the hand next. Start with a U shape at the end, like this. It should be angled a little bit more open at the end. And now draw a curve across. Next, let's draw the thumb on the top left. And then draw four fingers in the top right, starting at the bottom and working your way up. And now draw curves inside the fingers. Next, let's draw the ribbon and the bell. Start with the curve on the wrist. And then the bell with the circle underneath. And now a circle inside and a line down. And then draw the two ribbons hanging down again. Next, let's draw the ruffled belt. Start with two diagonal lines down from the waist. And then another set of shorter diagonal lines outside.
and now connect them with a the diagonal. Now let's draw another set of diagonal lines on the outside again. And now this time connect it to the center with a V. And then do this again one more time. Next, underneath these V-shapes, let's draw small diagonals. And lastly, add two lines at the bottom for a border. Let's draw the legs next. Starting in the center, draw a curve down, and then curve it out and back in. Now do the same thing on the right side. Now let's draw the outside of the pants. Draw a diagonal line down, curve it back out, and in. And then the same thing on the right. Now close off the bottom of the pants by connecting the two lines. Next, let's draw the stripe pattern on the pants. Start with a long curve down the pants here. And then another curve parallel to this one on the left. Now draw two more on the right. And then two more on the left. Now let's do the same thing on the right pant leg. Next, at the bottom of each pant leg, draw a rounded rectangle. And then one more curve inside. Next, let's draw the ruffles at the bottom. Let's start with the left side. Draw two diagonal lines down. And then a V-shape at the bottom. And now draw another diagonal on either side. and then connect it to the center with a V. Now let's do this one more time. And then for the last piece, draw a diagonal out and curve it back in. And the same thing on the right. Next, let's add the border at the bottom with two lines. Now let's do the same thing under the right leg. Next, under each leg, draw two diagonal lines down. And lastly, let's draw the shoes. Let's start with the left side. Draw a curve underneath. And then a curve down on the right. Now from the top, let's draw a curve out. And then an angle up and one more back down. Now let's follow those same angles outside. Up, down, and one more back down. And then a curve across the bottom to close off the shoe.
Next, at the tip of the shoe, draw a circle for the bell. Then draw a small dot inside and a line down. And next we're going to draw a sun pattern on the shoe. Start with a circle here. And then draw triangle shapes all the way around. Next, let's do the same thing for the right shoe, but pointing outwards to the right. And that's it for sun drop. Now let's quickly color it in. And done. Hope you enjoyed drawing along with me. And please remember to hit that like button and subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching.